What up guys, it's been a while since I have done an Overwatch, so I thought I would hop right in and do one. I have literally just received my new car as well, it got delivered today, and I've just finished driving it and I'm absolutely ecstatic about it, it is amazing. Um, I'm very, very, very happy with it, so I will definitely be making a video on that very soon, probably tomorrow. But enough about that, let's go ahead and hop into Overwatch, it's keen mode time. It is keen mode time, I'm not going to need my mic, I have my other mic right here. So we got the suspect with 100% headshot ratio, ooh, and he's scouting on round 4 here of Dust 2. I'm going to toggle on and off the x-ray because I was told to do that. Nothing that dodgy yet, the very first shot I saw with the scout he had a bit of a kind of a weird recoil thing. Okay. I mean, one, that would, I, it could have hurt him, I guess. That was plausible. But let's see how much his knowledge of uh, everyone actually being there is affected or not. His aim does look a little bit strange. It does look a little bit strange. I'm not going to lie. Um, what's the score here? He is on 4-3. It's nothing special, it's nothing special. Um, aim can obviously look kind of strange when you watch these demos back in a different tick or what they were recorded or whatever. I, I, I really don't see anything just yet to convict this guy at all. Everything he's doing could be plausible. He does, he does pre-aim people quite a lot though. I think he just tried to shoot someone through a wall there. I think he tried it. I do think he tried it, but that could just be a standard pre-fire. Could easily just be a standard, standard pre-fire. So we're gonna have to watch a little bit more to get a good informed decision. He's trying to get people down mid with a scout, which is verging on impossible. I mean, obviously it's doable, but it is very, very hard. Uh, at least he's ambitious, at least he's ambitious, but is he cheater ambitious? That's what we want to know. There's two people here, both hiding behind the doors. He's taking the position up top mid, he's missing that first scout shot. Hits the guy in the body behind the box. Oh, I thought he got a smoke kill then, I was about to get a little bit excited for a smoke kill in Overwatch. That would have been amazing, but no, his teammate finished him off. Now he is in a 2 on 2 Throws the grenade, this this guy a long standard body shot. And he could have got the information from where that guy was, from his teammate. He also seems kind of like quite, you know, not the most uh, top skill level. That was an interesting shot, because I think if he would have had aim lock or something similar to that, his aim would have just moved. Whereas the guy jumped across, his aim didn't move, and he shot him right in the foot. Um, and it killed him. So, for me, that's evidence against cheating. That his aim literally just stayed in the place despite the guy actually jumping. But, obviously, inconclusive as of yet. We've got to continue watching. Is this, is this teammate going to spray him down with a Galil? That's the real question. I wonder what level this is. That's, a, that's an easy enough shot. It's an easy enough shot. There's not, I don't think there's anything dodgy. Yet. But it is down to a three on five. He like the weird thing is he does like he does pre-aim he does a little bit of pre-aiming through walls where people are, where he shouldn't necessarily have the information. He just yeah, he just kinda looks at them through walls. Let's let's turn off X-ray for a little bit, see if he can see if he can shoot anyone through walls. Why is he looking behind him? When the only CT left is there at top ramp. Can someone explain that to me? Is he just really, really bad with like really, really good aim and no game sense? Normally people with insane aim and no game sense, they're normally the ones cheating. But this guy, he's got some skins as well. Obviously skins don't mean shit because, you know, lots of people get banned with, uh, with fairly expensive skins. So that's, that's nothing at all we can base that off. But... Yeah, he's just hanging around T-spawn. 
Nothing as of yet to convict this guy. Currently my judgement is sitting at not really that suspicious. Um, a few things are, could be questionable, but this is Counter-Strike. <laughs> like, there's a lot of just standard, natural, questionable things that just happen. That just happen, you know, I've got some absolutely insane stuff that I'd never expect to, to actually get. And if I watched myself, I'd probably call myself a cheater. So you got to be pretty lenient with these kind of things. It's now down to a one on three for Blackbird on the CT team. Um, he is down his headshot ratio from 100%, which was a cheater percent, to 60%, which is much better than mine, to be honest. <laughs> much, much better than mine. He's not even sitting at the top of the scoreboard here. He is 10 for 3. But we got to remember he could have also been reported for briefing or, you know, Bunny hop hacking or, or anything really. So we're not just looking at wall hacks. We're not just looking at aimbot here. We are trying to see what this guy has been reported for. Okay. Okay, that was a little weird. That was a little weird. Because he knew the guy was pushing long. I couldn't hear that, and then his aim there, his aim was like jittery, like really jittery, kind of like that aim body, no recoil style jitter. So that was interesting. That was interesting, because you can know this guy's short. He could have heard him, he could have heard him. I can't call him out on that. The guy was just running up short like an elephant, you know, I, I can't call him out on that. The long push here, is he going to know that three of them seem to be pushing long? I don't know, let's find out, let's find out. Oh, and my FPS here is sucking a little bit. It's back, we're back. <laughs> and there's one in lower. And one crossover. He's pre-aiming him a little bit. The thing is, he does seem to know where everyone is. Like, the pre-aims are real. With this guy. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> okay, that was a little bit... I mean... It... Is his teammate even near there? No, his teammate isn't near there. And I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that guy in lower. Yeah, he still tried to jump up. And he knows this guy is on short as well. I'm starting to question my decision now. About whether this guy is actually wallhacking or not. Um, obviously... <laughs> It's really hard to say he is cheating when he does plays like that, though, because that is just, it's just terrible. Some, it's just absolutely terrible. It's really confusing. Most people that are, like, really, really bad, and then suddenly really, really good. I mean, they could have, they could be having off games, they could be just talking to someone while they're playing, something like that. I have no idea. But this, this guy is intriguing me a little bit. He is intriguing me. And his aim sometimes does look a little bit locky. For example, that guy that pushed along. And he does know where everybody is as well. He almost certainly does know where everybody is. Which is pretty crazy. Look, he's just like no fear running out with a grenade. <laughs> no fear whatsoever. Yeah, he's cheating. I'm sorry, but he's, he's cheating. He is. He is. Okay. My decision has been flipped just like that, like all these kind of little questionable things. Yeah, have added up, have added up in my opinion, to, to think that this guy is walling. I do think this guy is walling. And look at this aim! No, 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 that is not legit aim. That is no, no way legit aim. Yeah, I'm sorry. That last round, sir, you convicted yourself for me, so I am going to say that you guys are probably going to disagree with this because because you can. That's absolutely fine. But I think he definitely knew where everybody was. He had way too many questionable moments. And the aim, the aim was not at all legit. It was very locky on and jittery. Um, and, you know, I've seen a lot of aimbots in my time. And that is, that is pretty much how they behave. Plus the fact he was actually really bad at the same time with like the game sense and everything like that. I do believe that that guy was cheating. I do believe it. 
I do believe it, so I'm gonna say you're cheap. So I think that's about it for this Overwatch. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Literally, that took me quite a long while to actually put together a good informed decision, but hopefully you guys agree with me, because that aim was no way natural and he had way too much knowledge about where everyone was. So take it easy guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.